Uh, can you talk about these different uh, subtypes? I think we have some pictures here. Yes. Let's go from left to right. So you have uh, vascular rosacea, which is probably the most common one I see in practice. This is mainly when patients are presenting with that persistent facial redness, the episodes of flushing, and the visible blood vessels in the skin. And then uh, second, you have inflammatory rosacea, or what we call papulopustular rosacea, where besides the, the redness and the flushing and the vessels, patients are also developing an acne-like eruption with the inflammatory papules and the pustules. The phimidus rosacea is when that skin starts to become thickened. Um, you basically get what's called hypertrophy or thickening of the connective tissue. You also get a thickening of the sebaceous or oil glands, and that's what can cause that skin to look very bumpy in appearance. You can see in the picture that the gentleman has even like an enlarged nose. That's what we call rhinophyma. This is a more severe form of rosacea. No, you know, this is already when it's progressed and, and this you can see in a patient who has left it untreated for many years. And then uh, lastly, you have ocular rosacea, which is when you start to get involvement of the eyes where patients get what looks like conjunctivitis. So redness of the inside of the eye, of the eyelid margin, uh, they can get styes, they can get a lot of dryness in that area. And that's also a more you know, that's usually um, coincided with a more severe form of rosacea. I have a couple questions regarding these pictures. If we could bring them back, because I, I was interested with just a few of them, so I can ask her something. I noticed in the one that you said where it flared up in the nose, and if we can bring that up, I would greatly appreciate it. In the nose area, you called it the rhino... Rhino, rhino Okay, what is actually happening there and if we could just keep this up for just a couple so minutes. So what's what, what's happening is you're having you're getting hypertrophy, so you're getting thickening of the connective tissue. Remember, this is an inflammatory process. So and why is it grooving in? Be, so it, it gets very bumpy because the oil glands they become so inflamed, mm. and it does form like a bumpy appearance to the skin. And of all of these, from left to right, which one would you say is? I mean, they're all you know obviously uh, not good to have, but which one is the worst? the phimidus rosacea for sure. Is that the hardest That's one to treat? the hardest one to manage. Once that skin has already become deformed, um, you're looking at you know laser surgical procedures to improve the texture of that skin. Uh, very hard, it's very hard to manage.